Hey folks, Troy Dooley, the Beachside CEO, and I hope your year is starting off great. You know, this is a year where uh, all of us are coming out of 2020 and we're saying, what has happened? Now for me, I picked a word this year. It took me about two months to say, what word do I want to use? And it was redefine. I want to redefine everything in my life. I, I mean, from top to bottom, to make sure that I am the man I'm supposed to be for my family, for my wife, for my clients, for my friends, for my God. So I am doing a boatload of research. I'm, I'm looking at myself and everything else. And because I have clients, I am constantly studying everything from cannabis to crypto to Forex to gut health, you name it. I'm digging into it, the paleo, the keto, all of this, because actually I figure it's going to help me and my family. And if I'm in this this mech, this this mode to redefine my life, to to pick out all of the areas from the health, spiritual, emotional, physical, if I can rip that apart to say this is who I'm supposed to be, then I've got to look at everything. Plus, it's a fiduciary responsibility when I'm helping clients. So last week, someone who is a friend. He's a CEO of a company. He puts a video out that, that really is on gut health. And that's what triggered, oh, I'm going to watch this. And he opens the video in this, this rant or this, this tirade, except that the more I dug into this, the more I think it was, it was fake is what it was. That's, that's what blew my mind because he's, he's going off on this, this tangent about three companies, and he's going to call these three companies out, but he's not going to name the names because he's worried about a lawsuit. But then he, he starts getting animated and, oh, if I was still in my rock band, I would use this word, but I can't use this word. And and he honed in on, on something that I'd been researching, postbiotics. Now, most of us have heard of prebiotics, probiotics, postbiotics, is fairly new. The The oldest article that I could find was about 2013. And when I really started digging into it, I found that Japan seems to be really a, a major area where the research had taken place. And I found a company, uh, Nitto Pharma, which started pursuing postbiotic research several years ago, close to a decade ago. And it's like, oh, this is interesting because that was my starting point. And, and they had just recently put a proof of concept together in clinical trials that started to show, this is what this, this says. And if you want this, you can send me a, a private message. I'll get it to you. It says, notably, recent proof of concept Clinical trials conducted by the company show that food in the form of HYA in gelatin-coated capsules inhibited the rise of post prenatal blood glucose levels. And Nito is working with, and they have these uh, Japanese names that I don't want to be disrespectful, uh, but they're from the Tokyo University of Archilot, uh, agricultural and technology to clarify the underlying mechanism that lie beyond these results. Now, this company, what I found out, is a huge company when it comes to prebiotics, postbiotics. That's what they focus in. There's like, I believe the article said they have 70, a 70-year 70 history and, and like 30 or 40 different postbiotic, I mean, not postbiotics, prebiotics and uh, probiotic research, different um, I'm going to say probably products that they've come up with. So it was very interesting because this is where they're from. So then I fast forward and this came out in 2017, postbiotics uses five benefits of gut health and beyond by Jillian Levy, CHHC. I don't know. Look, do I look like I know what all these initials? No, but this is on a website called Dr. Axe. And it's, and it's very interesting because every one of these articles doesn't do what this CEO, and I know by now you're saying, what CEO is this? I'm going to tell you in a minute because I don't care about lawsuits. But here's what, I, here's what I want to do. Every article doesn't try to go out there and say, postbiotics, postbiotics. What they do is they say, here's what a prebiotic is. Here's what a probiotic is. Here's where post 
antibiotics, the research seems to be helping. And it's all focused in really on the gut health. And I don't know about you, that's my biggest problem. I can bench press, I can lift, I can run, but getting rid of that fat. And I've got one of my sons that just had a second stroke and he's pretty skinny compared to me. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of this fat. So I've really been digging into this to research it. But then in a two, this was in a, uh, this is what this says. Postbiotics are byproducts of probiotic bacterial formation. Now, when I went to go look at this, now I can't tell you all of the benefits that they say a postbiotic helps, because if I do, it's, it's gonna sound like a claim. But here's what it does say. It says that it helps with gut-related problems such as leaky gut syndrome. Now, you may say, Troy, why did you talk about leaky gut syndrome? Isn't that a claim? Actually, medical doctors, um, they don't see leaky gut syndrome as a medical condition. They, they say that's too generic of a name. It's something that's been brought about by naturopaths, and that may be. So I can use that because I feel pretty safe since the medical field has said that's not a medical issue. Whew, this science stuff can get to you. You wonder why people are so <laughs> divided on viruses and vaccines. It's because doctors can't even figure this stuff out. But postbiotics work. And it's like, okay, that was interesting. Then I went and I found another article. This is a little later. This is on the website sciencedirect.com. It says postbiotics, an evolving term within the functional health or the functional food field. Now, functional health, functional foods, that's natural. That's where you, you take plant-based, eh, it might be more than just plant-based, but for the plants, fruits, vegetables, that's really functional food or functional health. And they said that this is evolving. Here's the highlights from this article. Again, if you want this stuff, send me a private message. I may do a post on this. We've got the new website coming up and it might be good for this. It says highlights. Postbiotics comprise meta metabolites. You scientists can just correct me in the comments. And or cell wall components released by probiotics. Postbiotics may together with probiotics improve uh host health, that means our health, whoever's taking them, the exact mechanisms of postbiotics bioactivities have not been fully uh, figured out. I'm going to use that. I'm not going to try to these science words, but wonderful article to show postbiotics are legit. In the video, the CEO said they don't exist. It doesn't happen. The only way it can happen is in the gut. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Well, in fermented foods too. His whole video, I watched it five times. And what I finally realized was he just wanted to promote his products and he wanted to, to, to run around like a shark in an in a, in a ocean and try to nip at other people instead of talking about, hey, my products are pretty good. Here's what we're doing. Here's the research behind our product. All he wanted to do was talk about other companies. And at one point, it was, it was so... It was just degrading because one of the companies, and I don't, all these companies could be my clients for all I know. I only have, I think, one client right now that's in gut health, but I have friends that are in three or four different companies that are working on different areas of the gut. And so I know that, that from my keto clients to my, to my gut health clients to my, my uh, what we, uh, hemp-based clients, all, even even in my um, essential oil clients, there is gut health that's related. So I know that it could be all my clients, but here's what really infuriated me is that he started making fun of, of, of one of the executives in one of the companies, and I don't know which, talking about how she was fat and how she's talking about gut health. <laughs> and I thought... Man, that's somebody's daughter. That's somebody's wife. That's somebody's sister. It could be somebody's lover. And 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 he's making he's making fun of them. Then he starts making fun of 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 a uh, bodybuilder. Now I've got a good friend of mine that I've known for many many years. I, I shouldn't probably he's not friend. Probably wouldn't even be the word. He's a great associate that I've known for a long long time. I broke my heel several years ago 
took one of his products and my doctor said, look, if all you did was take this product, it seems to have worked because you healed four weeks sooner than what I anticipate you healing for. I really like the guy. Well, he just brought out a new product that, that helps and it's like, I'm, I'm, and they're not a client. Uh, and I'm looking at all this and it's like, the CEO that put this video together is talking about this old bodybuilder and man, he's not worked out in a long time. Now he looks fat and he's worried about gut health. And it's like, well, you're a scrawny little snot-nosed whack job that couldn't probably lift 10 pounds. And, and you're talking about all these other people. Why would you do that? I mean, the only reason that you talk about other people's person, uh, what, what, physical, usually is if you've got a little bit of a, uh, oh, what do we call it, uh, insecurity with your own. And I thought, man, this is just weird. That part's weird. But I don't want to digress too much. It's just, it's frustrating because if you're going to go out there and you want to be an advocate and you want to, you want to say, look, this stuff sucks and here's why. Show the facts. If you can't do that, shut up because that's here. I have people all the time, Troy, you're just, you're biased because you talk about companies, but they're your clients or you talk about companies because your clients are suing them or they're in the lawsuit with them. That's true, we do do that. And I would say that's biased news without a doubt. I'd be the first to say that. Here's the deal, we only use facts. If it's a publicly traded company, we look at their numbers. If they're in a lawsuit, we use the actual court. And in this video here, I've got tons of information to show. No matter what your company is, postbiotics, actually research has shown they're helping people. That's the key, and I'm not gonna go into the details of post body, but this is pretty good when I start looking at this stuff because this guy just bold faced lie. Oh, postbiotics don't exist. I'm with the health, da 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 da. I'm with the da 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 da. I'm with the da 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 da. He names all this stuff that most people are saying. Oh man, he must be pretty smart. You know, I mean, let's forget about the days that he was he was leading the Fox rock and roll band and was smoking dope and maybe his brain cells burst all over the place. It's crazy. Here's another article. This came out October 2019. This is actually on the website. It's a government website. I think it's PubMed. Uh, yeah, it's the PubMed website. Uh, U.S. National Library of Medicine, National Institute of Health, postbiotics and their potential applications in early life nutrition and beyond. What this one, this abstract shows is that it's very important for babies, for humans to have the right stuff going into their gut. Matter of fact, when I started studying keto, I found out that moms that breastfeed, usually they're in keto, they put the baby in the keto because they've got this natural breast milk that's pumping through the body. And it's like, okay, this made sense. I'm starting reading the article. And sure enough, it's a big whole deal about how postbiotics, how plant-based fermented foods now, the CEO kind of alluded to that. He wanted to try to, oh, I don't want people to say, I, yeah, no. There are certain form, formation. That's how they make the postbiotics. And now they're able to, to put this stuff into capsules. It's an amazing deal. Another article here. Actually, this was the front cover of Today's Dietitian. And this was a July, June, July 2020 issue. Discover the world of postbiotics. This was by uh, Mandy Herman, MBA, NR, or ND, RN, RDN, I'll get it out. You know, another article right here. This was from the Runner's, Runner's World. What are postbiotics and how can they benefit you? This came out August uh, 20. And then the granddaddy website of them all that we all go to as our default, Wikipedia. You need to go to Wikipedia, look up postbiotics, not so much because of the article, but because at the end, there is over 28 different references, pros and cons to what people have found out about postbiotics. Postbiotics exist outside of your body creating them because they have found that plant-based form formation creates this. Now, here's, here's a powerful deal, because this is what I really love. This is what really got me excited about postbiotics. This comes from uh, Nutritia out of the UK. Another, uh, I'm going to say a pharmaceutical, bio, they, they, they're plant-based research is what they are. 
It says here, postbiotics, bioactive components produced by beneficial bacteria which have biologic activity in the gut. Complex molecules, cell wall components, organic acids, uh, vitamins, basically in the B group, carbohydrates, lipo lipids, and proteins, peptides, and amino acids. So Michael Winnegar of Asante Organics, Organics, which I like their, their products, went on this tirade to slam other people, to slam the executives because of what their bodies look like. Now, when you live in a glass house, you probably shouldn't throw stones unless you want to replace the glass or unless you live in a hurricane area like me and it's going to take a pretty big two before to go through it. Because Michael's not perfect himself. His products are not all clean products. Um, he will go around and tout like during the COVID, he said, whoa, the FDA approved one of our products. No, they didn't. But he did have an FDA approved ingredient in a product. See, you can't do this. This isn't right. If all you want to do is be a dull, negative, disillusioned crybaby and go after all the other companies when your little fanny's hanging out because none of your, not all your products are clean products, then, you, then, then you're going to get people to get pissed off like me. Because I don't believe that you go out there and you, you attack a person's physique. I mean, that's about as, as juvenile. That's like being on the, on the court and doing that. You talk about bigoted. That's the most bigoted statement. She's fat. He's fat. That's wrong is what that is. So I don't have a problem saying, Michael, you should take the video down. You should post a retraction uh, because it's not fair for those people that love you and love your company. Those people that, that, that believe in you and believe in your products for you to go out there and do this under the guise of uh, non-toxic Friday or whatever you call it. You should be ashamed of yourself. This is what you get pissed off when people do it to you. And you ought to stop it. You ought to be out there not trying to pretend that you care about other people when you don't. Not worrying about all the women on the, on the internet that you want a friend. And then I get these private emails from people saying, why is this dude like friending me? I, I don't know him. He's not in my company. Says he wants to get to know me. Freaks people out, dude. What you need to do is go build your company and be proud of all the products that you've got. Because what you did is a half-truth at best and a bold-faced lie at worst. And it misled people. And it's not right. And it's what you call me all the time and say, Troy, did you know this company over here just put out this false information when you're doing the same thing? Folks, you can go out there and Google postbiotics. And if you're in a postbiotic company, if you've got a company that says our product has postbiotics in it, then go out there and study what a postbiotic is because that's what I did. It's like, man, this, it's, I already take prebiotics. I already take a, a, a probiotic. I take a lot of other vitamins for my health, for my body. I take a lot of stuff. And it's like, if postbiotics have some benefit, I got to lose this fat. You need to go check them out. With that said, watch for our next video. I've got a brand new release coming out of a wonderful interview I did with Marcus Coach Jones. We'll have that up in the next 24 hours, and it is a rocker.